<gasps> Hello, everybody. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Can you clap? It's working. Sorry, guys, that we did not get to do our video yesterday. We're not sure what happened, but looks like it's working tonight. So, yay. I know it's Saturday, so I don't know if anybody is actually going to tune in or not. But if not, that's okay because anybody can go back and watch this video. What do you think, Max? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah! I know. You want to push the buttons on the keyboard. Okay, I'm going to give a few minutes just to see if anyone joins us. <laughs> Here, do you want to play with the mailbox? What do you think, huh? So this is Max, and she is one and a half, and it's almost her bedtime, so she's all comfy in her pajamas. And she wants to touch everything. Don't you, Maxton? Here, play with this. Hmm? Play with that. Okay, hold on Max. It's almost time for bed, huh? So then we can get started. Like I said, we're just giving it a few minutes to see if anyone joins us. Um, like I said, it is Saturday, so I have no idea if anyone is actually going to um, come on, but we'll see. Can you say tape? Can you say hi? Say hi! Huh? Say hi! Say this is Max! Okay, let's share this really quick. Okay, so I had posted a picture um, earlier in the week with a little kind of sneak of what I was doing, um, and it had like some seashells and aquarium rocks and things like that, but I'm actually not going to do that tonight. I'm going to save that for next week, because um, I don't want, I feel like that's going to take a little bit, ooh, a little bit of a longer time, so um, I'm just going to do something pretty simple with the Cricut tonight and some shadow boxes. So if you got a Cricut for Christmas and you're still kind of learning how to use it, this will be good for you because this is a really simple project. Oh, yeah. Hi, Louie. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Yeah. Can you say hi? Say hi. Are you waving? <laughs> okay. So... Oh, clicking off of it. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be using these shadow boxes. So um, I decided, I have this sign that I found, and it was on clearance at Hobby Lobby for just a couple of dollars. And um, is that TV in the background bothering you guys? Let me turn that off really quick. I didn't realize it was still on. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so I have this sign, and um, it's just like this cute little word art thing. I should have grabbed it, but it says, we were together, I don't remember the rest. And um, so I want to put that like in the middle. Are you ready for bed? Hey, Daddy. Um, I want to put that in the middle and then do all the places that we visited in these little shadow boxes. Um, so I'm going to put our picture on the inside and then put where we visited on the outside of it. Just a simple little decoration to kind of memorialize Dad. all the place that we visited. Dad. Okay, are you ready for bed? Can you say bye? Say bye to everybody. Say good night. Say night night. Oh, you're going to give kisses? <laughs> Why don't you blow kisses? Go mwah. Can you blow kisses? No kisses. There you go. Okay, say bye. Okay. Bye. Good night, Max. I love you. Okay, so um, I actually got these at Dollar Tree, and I actually had to move all of my um, stuff into the kitchen because my craft room is actually right next door to, like, we share a wall with my daughter's room, so I didn't want to be loud and keep her awake when she went to bed. So I had to kind of move everything here into the um, kitchen, so everything is a little out of sorts, because I kind of just grabbed everything and threw it in these buckets. Okay, so like I said, I got these at Dollar Tree, um, and they're actually, like, really good quality for being a dollar. 
Um, however, they do have everything okay? Oh, it's right there. However, they do have um, these words on it, but the words are just painted on, so it comes off pretty easily. So open it up and we'll get it all the way out. Kind of have to finagle everything out of there. Okay, so here you get the glass out and it's actually painted on the back. So this is really easy to get off. Um, you just have to use a razor blade. Uh, for those of you who are joining us, I am making some shadow boxes of some of the places that we've been. I'm using my Cricut to put vinyl decals on them. So if you got a Cricut for Christmas, this is a really uh, fun, easy project for you to do. So I have this razor blade and this is actually from my husband's shaving kit. Um, and I'm going to take all of this off of the glass. So just going along and scraping it. And I've done this several times and it has not scraped the glass at all. We just go on here and scrape all of it off. So um, what I did was I went and I made some um, graphics. I did an outline of the state. Um, and then in the middle, I'm just going to put the initials for that state. And then a picture that we took from um, that vacation. So this year we went to, we just got back from Florida. We went to Florida at the end of the year. Um, that was our Christmas, our Christmas present. Um, we got to go with some really good friends. And then uh, in August, I believe, we went to South Carolina. That was the first time taking the kids to the beach. And it was really cool. It was really fun. Um, and then let's see where else have we gone. We went to Colorado all together. My husband and I went to New York for our honeymoon and got to see a Broadway play. So as you can see, this is coming off pretty easily. She in bed. Um, so I'm just gonna use that sign. Hey babe, can you on the wall over there, that sign that says we were together right there on the other side with those pictures. Can you grab that? Thank you. So this is the sign I was talking about and it shows uh, we were together, I forget the rest. So um, this is gonna be the main centerpiece of the uh, wall that I'm doing and then each of these shadow boxes is going to be the place that we traveled. A picture and then just a cute little decal of the state on the front. Um, nothing too big, nothing too fancy because I really want the picture to be able to be seen but that way you can tell where we were in that particular picture. And you know the goal is to eventually hit all 50 states so we'll see how long that actually takes. So right now um, I have these shadow boxes that I got from Dollar Tree. Uh, they're really nice shadow boxes, uh, but they have these words on the front of them. So I'm just using a razor blade to scrape these off. So this is a really um, cheap and easy way to get um, shadow boxes that are generally pretty expensive for a dollar. They're still pretty good condition. You just have to do a little work to get them ready. So I'm just going and scraping all of this off. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I did um, create a bundle for digital download for all of these states. So I am going to do a Missouri one. And so the Missouri one is going to be an outline of Missouri where I live. And the middle of it is going to say home sweet home. And then all the other ones is just going to have the initials of that particular um, state. Okay, now I'm going to get Windex, which I forgot over here. So let me grab that and just to clean this off. Okay, so now I'm just going to spray a little Windex on here. Wow. 
wipe this off. Okay, so an easy way that I found, so this is the backing of the shadow box, and it's just like this faux wood, um, probably paper that they just stuck on here. Um, so I'm gonna replace that with a picture. So I actually printed off a bunch of pictures on um, shipping label paper. So this is a whole um, paper, piece of paper that um, has the sticker backing on it because it's meant for shipping labels. Um, I, what state should I do first? Let's do, oh, some of these pictures did not print off very well. Um, let's do Colorado. So here's my Colorado picture. Um, I believe that was in Rocky Mountain National Park. If, um, and then that's me, my husband, my son, my daughter wasn't born yet. And then that was our uh, foster son that we had for a little bit. Okay, so that is going to go on here. So I'm going to lay this out and just kind of set this on top of the picture. I made it a little bigger than what I needed to, uh, just to allow room for error. So I'm going to kind of center it and mark where I need to cut it. Which, um, for those of you that missed the beginning, I had to move all of my craft stuff out here to the kitchen because my craft room shares a wall of my daughters and I didn't want to keep her up while she was trying to go to sleep so I just grabbed everything that I could and brought it out here so everything's kind of a mess right now okay so I'm just gonna mark this where I want to cut it one tool that is always lost I feel like okay so now I'm gonna cut this it'll just be easier if you cut a little bit of, of it out um, and get all this excess away when you're actually putting it on the backing of the shadow box so I'm gonna cut this out on the markings that I made um, also for those of you that have joined us um, I had originally posted a picture um, that's completely different than what I am ended up doing tonight. I'm going to save that for next Friday since our uh, video failed to launch last night. About 10 minutes before I had pushed the live button for this video, my whole computer, or well first my mouse stopped working, so no matter what I did I couldn't get the mouse to work. And then uh, my computer completely froze after we got the mouse to work, so I was freaking out there for a minute. Okay, so put all of that aside. So now I'm going to hold this back up. Um, so for those of you that have just popped on, I am making some um, decor pieces. I have this sign that says, we were together, I forget the rest. So this is gonna be the centerpiece and then around it is going to be shadow boxes um, with a picture of a place that we visited on the outside and then on, or on the inside and then on the glass is gonna be a decal of the state that we visited to kind of make a memorial wall of all the places that we have been. So I have my picture and I printed this out on shipping label paper, just makes it really easy to apply to the backing of the shadow box. And I, it's actually also really cool because this particular one has like slits in the sticky paper. And so you can do little pieces at a time. So I'm gonna take the big middle portion off first, make sure we have this the right way because you want the um, hanging top at the part, top of this to be obviously with the top of the picture. You don't wanna put it on upside down. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up. like that. And we're going to pull the rest of this off. So 
Like I said, um, if you missed it, this is a really good project for you Cricut beginners. So if you got a Cricut for Christmas, this is a really easy project for you. For you, These shadow boxes were bought at Dollar Tree. Um, if you missed the beginning, they came with a design on the front and we just scraped that off with a razor. Um, so really easy and cheap supplies. So if you do happen to mess up on one of them, it's not that big of a deal because you only wasted a dollar. Okay, so now I have the picture on there, so I'm going to go and get these sides. I'm not going to cut it, I'm just going to kind of wrap the edges around. So I'm going to go to the corners and cut squares out of the extra paper, like that, and then you can easily fold each side down. So this um, vacation, this is Colorado was really fun. I'd have to say that it's been, that was one of my favorite family vacations. Um, it was really stressful because at the time we were considering moving to Colorado, so we kind of uh, tried to turn it into a let's go on vacation and also let's try to find a place to live. So it made it a little stressful. Obviously we didn't end up moving out there. We stayed here in Missouri. Um, but it was a really cool place to visit and I would definitely recommend going there. Okay, so I am folding all of these edges down and I'm gonna cut out a little square piece for where the hanging um, piece is. So if you don't have a Cricut, you can still do these projects. Um, you can either, instead of applying like a vinyl decal that you cut out, you can apply stickers. Um, you can also order vinyl decals, so um, I do sell vinyl decals for something as small as this. Depending on the design, it would probably be around $5. And then um, you could also create a stencil or just buy a stencil from Walmart or somewhere and put that on the glass instead um, if you don't have a Cricut. But like I said, this is a really easy project for you who are just starting out on a Cricut. Um, they're such fun machines, you can do so much with them. Okay, so I have that and that is gonna be the backing to our shadow box. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the, um, cut out the vinyl decal. That side. Like I said, everything is a little messy since I had to move all of my stuff to the kitchen. So I didn't wake my daughter up. Okay, so um, let me measure this. So I have this really cool, um, this came with a fabric cutter set, but it's really nice for measuring. Okay, so this glass piece is about five by five. Okay, so we'll remember that for our Cricut. So I'm gonna go to Cricut Design Space. And I will, let's see, can I turn this around? Okay, so Cricut Design Space, for those of you who are new to Cricut and need to see how this works. Okay, so I went to Cricut Design Space, I'm gonna go to New Project. And this is really easy. So this is Colorado. Um, so I did, like I said, I did all of the states with Home Sweet Home, which obviously Colorado isn't my home, so I'm just gonna show you um, how to kind of edit a, um, I don't remember which folder I saved this in, hold on. How to edit, um, an image. Okay, so Colorado. Okay, so I'm pulling this up and I, when I created these, I created them transparent so I don't have to go through and take the background off, which is really nice. Um, so this is just a simple design, one color. So you just click simple and then click continue. So for this one, I am going to put uh, Colorado's abbreviation. So CO instead of home sweet home since I don't live here. So what you can do is you have three erase options here. You have this one, which you can just click 
like this and it gets rid of the letter um, or whatever you're clicking on. The eraser one, you can choose what size eraser brush you want. So if you go really big, um, this is a really big image. You can do that and go through and like manually do it. So that would be if you're like changing a design um, that isn't all separated like this. And then you have a crop, which you don't need. So I'm just gonna go through and take off all of these just to be left with the state. Also, this is really hard to do while you're holding a phone, just so you know. I was trying to do it by looking through the camera on the phone, but that was really hard. Okay, so for you Cricut, um, new users to Cricut, you have two options now. Save as a print then cut image and then save as a cut image. So if you are wanting to cut vinyl, just like a vinyl decal, you're gonna do save as a cut image. So that's what we're gonna do. A print and cut would be like if you have multiple um, colors on the image and you want to like print off like that image and then you can run it through the vinyl cutter and it will cut out the image. So we're just gonna do this as a simple save and cut image. And then insert image into our design space. So this is really big. So going to shrink it down down here I don't know if you can see that but there is a um, zoom in and zoom out button I'm gonna put it really small and then zoom back in okay so I had said that our little glass piece was five by five so I am going to let's see Maybe just a little bigger, get this to four and a half. So I'm starting my design at a half an inch and ending it at four and a half inches. Actually, I'm gonna go a little bit smaller. I'm kind of just centering it in between this five by five line so I can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like when I actually put it on. Okay, so I'm just kind of doing this by sight, but I have it at a little less than an inch here and a little more than four inches right here. And then I have it centered pretty much in the five. Okay, so that means that it will fit on my um, five by five piece of glass. When I was looking at a lot of the questions that people were asking me, it was how to do sizing. So um, make sure that when you measure something, you always make your design a smaller than what you're actually um, putting it on. Because if you make it the same size, it's gonna like go right to the edges and just not gonna look as good. Okay, so now I'm gonna put Colorado in the center of this. So I'm gonna bring up my text. And then if you go up here to Cricut, you can go to, if you've downloaded fonts, you can click system. Um, and these are all the fonts that you've downloaded so you don't have to pay for them. I'm going to find the font that I want. Um, I can't remember exactly what it's called. I just know it starts with a C, coffee and cream. Okay, now C, O. And I'm just gonna put that in the center. And however big you want to make this is to your liking. Um, sorry, I keep going crooked. I'm holding my phone up and also trying to get this situated. Okay, so that is what is going to go on the front of our shadow box. Um, so now this is two separate pieces because we uploaded the um, Colorado State border and then we typed this out. So. If we were to run this through the cutter right now, it would separate these two pieces, and we don't want that. We want them to uh, be one piece. So what you do is, I have to click the shift button so I can, so you click shift and click both of these, so now you have both of them um, together, and then you right click, and you click attach, and then weld. And now you have one, piece okay so that 
is how we got that. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, there is a learning curve to the Cricut, but once you get it down, it's pretty easy. So if you're following along, not too hard, right? You can do this. Um, up here, it gives you the option to pick what color you want. You have advanced color options. I'm gonna do mine in white. It's not necessary to change the color on this one just because I'm only doing one, um, one color, so it's not like it's a big deal, but if you're doing a project with multiple colors, you that's an easy way to be able to sort out all the colors. Okay, so now I'm going to make it. So it brings up my mat and everything on here. I can check the size that it will fit. So yes, it's under the five by five that I need for it to fit. Um, everything is good. Okay, so with this, I actually want to put the vinyl on the inside of the glass because if you put it on the outside, if you ever clean the glass or anything, it could be, um, it could make it come up just when it lasts as long. But if you put it on the inside, you're never going to touch the inside after you do it. So it'll last longer. Um, but one of the things that you need to make sure of is that because, um, sorry, I'm trying to grab my vinyl. Apparently I can't talk and do it at the same time. So vinyl is not always the same color on the front and the back. So you want to make sure that your vinyl, um, if it's white on the front, that it will also be white on the back. I accidentally did that the other day where I did like a foil color. I think it was gold. And I wasn't even thinking about that it wasn't gold on the back of it. And so that one I had to apply to the front. But this, um, it's white on the front and the back. So that will be good. So we're going to mirror it because it's going to stick to the back of the glass. So you mirror it, so when it flips, it'll go right up. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn my machine on. Sorry for all of the mess. I had to move everything to the kitchen at the last minute. And then we're gonna open it. That's this button over here. Okay, so up here, it's already connected because I have it plugged in. This also works by Bluetooth, um, so you can use your phone and everything as well. But mine's plugged in. So um, I have my material set to vinyl. So this is just regular vinyl. There's a knob here. So you have paper, vinyl, iron on, and a bunch of different like custom options too. So this is just regular vinyl. So I have it set to vinyl, and I have it set to vinyl up here. So now I have to get my Cricut mat which don't be like me, my Cricut mat is disgusting and destroyed because I don't take care of it like I should. So always put your clear cover back on to keep this from happening. Don't be like me. Um, so you don't have to put a whole piece of vinyl on your mat. You can just kind of figure out where you're going. That way you're not wasting any vinyl. So I'm gonna flip you back around so I can set the phone down. Okay, so here's my vinyl, and it's all rolled up, so I'm gonna kind of roll it, some tape on here. Okay, so I'm gonna roll it backwards to kind of flatten it out a little bit. I'm just gonna stick it on here. I know this is kind of hard for you guys to see. Let's push it back, back a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to stick it on here, and then I will cut it, <coughs> excuse me, oh, I just spilled that everywhere, okay, so I'm going to cut it right around 5x5 five five to give any extra space that I may need. Flip it this way. If you guys have any questions about the Cricut or anything that I'm doing, let me know and I can answer them for you. Okay, put all of this extra vinyl put aside and stick this on here. So I, like I said, I've been really bad about taking care of my Cricut mat. Um, I really need to clean it and I keep putting that off. So don't be like me, take care of your stuff. Um, 
It doesn't even have that much sticky yet. I'm it's left. I'm surprised this is even like sticking right now. Okay. Um, I am going to put some painter's tape on here just because I've treated this so poorly that I am going to make sure that it doesn't come up because then it would be messed up when it goes through the machine. Just putting it on the very edges. Okay, so give me just a second. I'm going to check everything. Um, okay, so oh my goodness. Okay. Sorry, my computer is acting up flip you around again. Okay, so this is what I always do right before I click go and get everything started. So if you, I don't click on this, but if you kind of, well, it's not working now. If you click on it, you can see where your design is on your mat. So you can see it's under the five by five. And then I bring this over here and you have five and then five. So you know that your design is gonna fit on your vinyl. So we're good. So you click done and then you have your vinyl. So the next thing that you're gonna do is load your mat. So your Cricut hides these little divots on each side that you stick your mat into. And then you push this arrow button and it pulls it in just like that. So now it's ready to go. So you can come back here, um, double check that mirror is on for this since it's going on the back side of the glass. So we're good for that. We have the right blade loaded, um, fast mode. So this is a pretty easy design. So I'm going to go ahead and click fast mode. If you're doing a super intricate design, I would suggest not doing fast mode. Uh, but this is a pretty simple design, so it shouldn't be a big deal. So we're good to go. Now we're going to click the start button. That's going to cut it out for us. Okay, if you've just popped on, we are um, having fun with some Dollar Tree shadow boxes. I am making, I am making some shadow boxes um, with some places that we've been to just remember some of the places that we've visited so far. We have put a picture on the backing of the shadow box. So I did this with um, just uh, shipping label paper. So it just it was a big sheet of sticky label paper that I printed it off on and I used that to stick it onto the back of the Dollar Tree shadow box. Okay, so back to our vinyl. Now we have to weed it. So weeding is when you pull off all the extra vinyl so you're left with the design that you want. So I'm gonna flip you guys back around so I can use both of my hands. Also, if you guys saw the margarita bottle sitting there, that is what I'm using to hold my phone up because my tripod died. So just anything that could have gone wrong in the last couple of days has for me technology-wise. Um, I was saying before, right before we went live, my um, mouth stopped working. And then after that, my computer froze. So, And then last night, I couldn't even get it to go live. So technology hates me. Uh, I've always had this issue. My phone dies really fast, watches die, like whatever technology I'm using, you can assume that I'm going to mess it up. And then my husband comes along and just like basically touches it and everything's fixed again. And it's very frustrating. I'm always like, oh, the Wi-Fi isn't working or whatever. And he just comes and all of a sudden it's working again. Like, okay. Okay. So now we're going to weed this. So I have just a regular weeding tool that came with the Cricut and you just use that to pull up all of this extra vinyl which my mat is not sticky anymore so you pull all of that up and then set that to the side um a little pro tip that i do is when i have big pieces of vinyl like this 
I leave it sticky side up. Um, it's not really a big deal on this because the pieces we're taking off are pretty big. Oh, that did not cut the right way. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to redo that one because my Cricut did not cut part of the design. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna run this through the thing one more time. It did that the other day to me. It just randomly did not um, cut a portion of the design and I had to redo it. So I don't know, maybe I need to update my machine. I haven't done that in a while, so that's probably my fault. But I'm gonna run this through one more time. And try that again. some small pieces of painter's tape and hopefully it'll work this time yeah it did that to me on um, heat transfer vinyl when I was in the middle of an order of like 20 shirts that I needed to get done um, because I had to go pick up my daughter from daycare and I realized as I was in the middle of doing all the shirts that fortunately I didn't press it onto the shirt yet but I noticed that all of a sudden, like a piece of the design was missing, and it's just me. I'm not in as much of a hurry today, so it's not that big of a deal. So we'll just run that through again. Okay. So make it to where you guys can see me it's hard I don't know if any if you guys have ever done a live video there's um, it'll tell me like at the bottom of my screen who's watching and if anybody has left any comments so it's hard to see the bottom of the video to see what you guys can see so if um, I'm like out of the screen or whatever I'm doing is out of the screen let me know so I can fix it because uh, it's hard to do this and also pay attention to like what the camera is looking at Okay, so now let's try this again. Okay, it worked that time, so I'm gonna pull this up. Ooh, this vinyl is being tricky tonight. So the vinyl is um, kind of sticking to the pieces that was cut, so I'm having to hold down what I want to stay and pull up what I want to be left with. Um, that is probably because this is Cricut vinyl. Um, I am not a fan of Cricut vinyl. I prefer cut this extra off so we don't waste it. I always keep little scraps around because you never know when you're going to need to do something small. Um, but like I was saying, I'm not a fan of Cricut vinyl. I don't think it works as well. I generally use Oracle um, vinyl, but... I did not have any in white, so this will work for this. Um, but I just find Oracle vinyl easier to work with. Okay. So the outline of Colorado is pretty skinny, so it's kind of pulling up as I do this. So before I try to get this stuck on, to smooth everything out okay so when I pulled that up it kind of got everything pulled up so I am just smoothing out these lines there's bubbles in it right now and if you s transfer it onto the glass with the bubbles it'll still have the bubbles on the way on the glass when you're doing it okay so I have my design all weeded. I'm gonna pull it off the mat now. Stick this over here. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but all you're left with is what you want um, to put on your box. So now I'm gonna come back here. Oh, my glass is right in front of my face. I just can't see it because it was blending in. Okay, so a little trick when you're working with glass and to get things on straight. So the biggest, um, probably the biggest question that I've seen is how do you get things on straight and centered? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of glass and put it on 
This is another board that I have. It's a square. This is great when you're doing t-shirts, BTW. If you are doing t-shirts, this is something that you gotta have. It's so helpful when it comes to measuring. I'm gonna lay it on the corner. What I'm going to do is take a um, dry erase marker and just draw um, like a plus through each middle. So this is Um, okay, so <laughs> so we'll do right here. Having to do math in my head because now I'm not perfectly drawing a straight line. I guess I could use my other one to draw a straight line. Um, this doesn't equal. <laughs> like line up right at a inch of like five inches. It's in between five and six inches. So I'm having to do math in my head to figure out where the middle is. Um, and now it's moving. So we'll go there. And then Thing. Oh, I did this at the wrong side. Flip it around. There we go. Okay, and I'm just measuring and marking everything on the back of the glass so I can easily line everything up when I'm putting it onto the glass. So that's five, two and a half. have my X's and it's a little crooked because the glass moved on me there at the last second but it's not let me pause this this thing is flashing and I can hear it I don't know if you guys can but I can so I'm gonna finish everything on my board okay so now I have this my table <laughs> that I usually do all of my stuff on is white so I'm having a hard time here I'll do it on this seeing what I'm doing because this surface is black Okay, so let me take this. Now we're going to transfer. Um, hi, April. How are you? Um, so we're going to transfer our decal onto our glass of our shadow box. And I actually hate transfer tape. So if you don't know, transfer tape is just like a clear, um, like contact paper type stuff that is... Um, for you stick it onto the vinyl and then that's how you get it onto whatever you're putting it on. So in this case, it's glass, um, but I hate it. One, it's expensive um, and two, a lot of the time it's too sticky so it's hard to get on and off. Um, hi, Leah, I hope I pronounced that right, welcome. Oh, okay, my thing just disconnected for a second so hopefully it's still going. Okay, so um, Leah, are you new to the Cricut? Did you get one for Christmas? I know a lot of people did. Um, so I'm using painter's tape instead of transfer tape because it's a lot cheaper and it's easier for t to work with in my opinion. So um, I'm just going to uh, layer this on to the design over the top of it. And what I wanna do is you wanna make sure that the top piece and the bottom piece are super straight when you put the strips on because that will help you line it up straight on your glass. Um, so the Colorado uh, emblem, it's really hard for you guys to see this because it's white. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not perfectly straight. So when I put this on, um, it's gonna be a little at an angle just because that's the way the state lays. Um, but I'm going to figure out how I want it by marking my transfer tape on a straight straight line so um this first piece that i put down is going to go straight across so i know that i want the top edge of my tape to be parallel with the top edge of the glass hopefully that makes sense hey guys welcome 
Oh, okay, gotcha. I um, am really jealous. I've wanted a silhouette. I was actually, my friend gave me this Cricut. Um, in, case, in case you guys don't know, a silhouette is another vinyl cutting machine, but <clears throat> a friend gave me um, her old Cricut that she never, well, not old, but um, her Cricut that she used, so that's what I'm using, but I've always wanted a silhouette because I think that they're pretty awesome. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Erin. That's funny. Um, so I am just putting my vinyl decal on the glass and I'm using painter's tape. So I do, I did the top edge and so I made sure to line up that top painter's tape with how straight I want it on the glass. <clears throat> and now I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. Um, so some designs, like if I have a pretty big solid design, this is all I'll do and I'll stick it on there, especially if the surface is curved, like if you're doing wine glasses, because leaving some of the transfer tape like area off, like leaving this area free, helps the um, decal to apply better, especially to curved surfaces. So if you have like a bigger um, solid piece of vinyl that you're putting on, I would suggest only using these two strips and then setting it on, especially like if you're doing wine glasses because the curved areas are a lot harder and the decals fall differently. So um, if you leave some of the space open, it's a lot easier to put things on curved surfaces. But we're putting it on a flat surface and these lines for the Colorado outline is very thin. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this whole thing in painter's tape. And so I just add strips like this. over the design. So I know um, I've had a few people ask me, um, how do you see what you're doing? Because painter's tape is not clear. So I will show you um, how I do this. So I pull this up. So now I have my painter's tape on there as my transfer tape, just like that. Um, so this is how I get my design to stick to transfer tape or painter's tape or whatever you guys are gonna use. It doesn't really matter. But I, ha I do know people have trouble sometimes getting it to stick. So I flip it over and I have the painter's tape, transfer tape on the bottom. And what I do is I bend this back and bring it all the way back like this and slowly pull it off. And when you do it this way, it sticks very easily. And just keep going. Another thing that I like about the painter's tape is that it's not um, super sticky like the transfer tape. Now it's sticking to the back of it. Um, it's not super sticky like the transfer tape, so I feel like when you're sticking the decals on, it comes off a lot smoother in my opinion. Okay, so now I have my tape um, like that and my decal stuck to it. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of cut evenly along each side like this without the tape sticking all over me. And then on the same side I'm going to do about the same width. So this is going to help me center it on my glass. And then I already have the top and bottom lined up with the my scissors. I already have the top and bottom piece of tape lined up with the design, so it'll be easier for me to center it. Okay. So that is what we have. Okay. So now I'm going to take my glass. I'm going to I put those X's on it. I'm going to make sure that those X's are on the back because I don't want to lay it on top of what I'm doing. And I'm going to stick this on here. So what I do is I kind of put my fingers like this and hold it over, kind of bend it like this, and just stick it right in the middle. I kind of eyeball everything. Um, another tip that you could do is um, you could before you pull this off, off of 
this, like when it's just sticking on there, you could draw an X through the center on the back of the tape, and you can do that with any tape. So then when you have the X drawn on your glass, you can just line up each edge. So that's another tip. If you are not great at eyeballing, um, you can just do that and then line it up. Um, but this doesn't really have to be perfect because the state is not, it is a rectangle, but it's kind of cockeyed. So if I don't get it on there super straight, you're not even going to notice because it's not supposed to be straight in the first place. Okay, so um, I'm going to just put this on there. Center. Oh, before I stick this on, let me show you guys another trick. This is something that I do with more complicated designs if I'm having a hard time finding the middle, is I fold it in half and kind of bend it just like that. And it creates a line, so you can put that on the middle as well. So that's just another trick that you can do. That helps with centering. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick this on here. And then I don't have my um, flat edge tool I would usually use that, but I don't have it on me, so I'm going to do this. And rub it down. Just like that. I'm going to use my nail. Okay, so now I'm going to go and remove the transfer tape. Or painter's tape is what I use. Um, I'm just going to do one strip at a time. And it's the same way that I um, got the decal off of the original paper is I'm going to pull the tape back like this, back to the edge, and just slowly and steadily pull it off just like that. And this works really good for... Um, regular transfer tape too. And again, and you can go a lot faster than this. I'm just going slow so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. So now I pull this off. I need my um, scraper tool. Flatten this out. So I'm just flattening this. There are some bubbles on the other side. I'm getting hot, so I'm going to take this off. So I just took the original paper, and I'm putting that over as a cover so I can go through and kind of rub this down. I don't work with Cricut um, vinyl a lot, hardly ever. And this is reminding me that I don't particularly care for Cricut vinyl. this down okay so for this I did do it um, mirrored so then it can show up like that um, on so the vinyl is on the back of the um, glass so it doesn't get messed up however I don't know if you guys can tell the difference but um, the back of the vinyl is not quite as vibrant white as the sticky side so um, I'm not quite as happy with that. I thought it was pretty close to the same color, but that's okay. Not a big deal. I generally use Oracle vinyl. Um, Oracle 651 is the permanent vinyl, and I find it a lot easier to work with than Cricut, and um, I find that it lasts a lot longer. So if you're using the, uh, like, you have the choice of permanent or removable for Cricut, and then um, sorry, I can't talk and do this at the same time. Apparently, 
Um, and you have the same option with the Oracle too. And I just find that Oracle lasts longer, works better, is easier to work with than the Cricut vinyl. So this is what we have. Um, it's nice because the vinyl is on the back so it's not gonna get messed up. I'm just going to give this a nice little wipe down because I have my fingerprints all over it. Um, you can use Windex and everything on stuff with vinyl. You just have to be careful to not uh, pull the vinyl up while you're doing it. It just lasts longer if you put it on the back and don't mess with it. This is not a clean rag, so this is probably not going to clean it very well. Use my shirt. That rag had all the residue from um, scraping off the words, and I don't have another rag, but that's the general idea. So um, let's put it upside down. So now we're just going to assemble our shadow box. So for Colorado, I don't have really anything special. For some of the other uh, states that I'm doing, I have um, like seashells or um, like tickets, plane tickets, things like that, that I would use um, to put inside the shadow box. But my Colorado, I didn't plan ahead and didn't have anything. Um, so when you're putting this back in, you want to make sure that these two little contraptions are at the top. And then you also want to make sure you're putting everything in the right way. So you put the mirror in, or the mirror, the frame, um, glass in the frame. And then you put this little thingy in there. And then the picture, and if you guys missed it, I applied this picture with, I printed it out on shipping label paper and then just stuck it on there like a big old sticker because to me that is way easier um, than printing off just regular paper and like mod podging it or whatever and it just stuck right on. And voila! So there's the shadow box with Colorado State on it. Um, and I chose, you can do any color vinyl that you want. Um, if you choose to do a black vinyl, it'll kind of blend into the picture more. Um, and then if I chose white, since my frame is white, it'll kind of stand up a little more. So that just is kind of your opinion, what you want, if you want the state to stand out more, if you want the picture to stand out more. But I did it just to match the box um, because most of the decor in, or most of the trim in my house is white. So I thought this would look really good. And also if you missed it, this is what these are going around. So I have this sign that says we were together, I forget the rest. And then this, these are all gonna go around this. So all the states that we've been to and all the states that we're going to visit. Thanks Vanessa, I am excited. I think it's gonna look really good when everything's done. Um, I'm gonna do one more thing for you guys. I'm gonna do one more shadow box. I'm gonna go a little bit quicker this time, but um, I did create a bunch of um, digital designs for the states. Um, oh, is it showing backwards for you guys? I didn't know if it would um, like flip everything around, but it's not backwards, I promise. It's showing correct for me. <laughs> um, that's funny, I thought it would mirror the video. So uh, that one's down. Now I'm going to do one for uh, my uh, home. So around all of the states, I'm gonna have all the places that, we're, that we visited. And then I'm also going to do one for our home. Um, and that one is going to say home sweet home on it. And I'm actually gonna do that one, I think in, this rose gold coppery uh, foil vinyl, just so it stands out from all the other ones because it is our home. Um, and then the picture that I'm gonna use for that one is, so if you guys missed the process of the first one, you can see it again. Um, so this is the picture I'm using for our home sweet home. And uh, this is our first house that we purchased. We actually purchased it this year. Um, and so that is what I'm gonna do for this one. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'd love to see what you guys do with this. You obviously don't have to do states or anything like that, but this is just um, in live settings to get it to show. Okay, I'll have to check that out the next time that I'm messing around with it. Um, thanks for letting me know. Um, 
so sorry that everything was backwards, guys. <laughs> I didn't realize it was backwards for you. So I'll make sure to um, mess with my settings so that's fixed next time. Um, so I'm just going to do this one really quickly if you uh, want to follow along with that one. So I'll kind of show you what I'm doing up here. Let me get this flipped. Now it probably shows correctly for you guys. There you go. So that's the shadow box. Okay, so I'm going to delete this one because I'm done with this one. I'm going to pull up my Missouri one. So I made all of these home sweet home designs for every state. Um, Missouri. And this one, save it as a cut image. So I'm going quickly through this. I did talk over all of this stuff before, so um, if you have questions, let me know, because I'm kind of just going to go about this. Okay, so it, I saved these. When I made these images, I made them ginormous. So I'm just going to make this way smaller. And now, let's see. So that is... How big do I want this? I'll go four and a half, I think. Make it. Um, so this one I'm not going to mirror because it's a foil and I want that to be on the outside. So I'm going to put this on the outside of the glass. Um... So I'm going to continue, flip you guys back around so it can set you down. <clears throat> Get my mat. So while this is cutting, I will put the picture on the um, frame and get all of that ready and get the... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to cut this off. Guys, like I said, treat your mats better than the way that I've treated this one because it has, like, no stick left to it. What size did I put this one at? <clears throat> so now I'm just cutting this out to... Guys, I need it. So I don't know where I got, or like, I know where I got this vinyl from, but I don't know what brand it is. So um, there was this lady who was, she owned like this really big business. Um, and she had posted that she was getting rid of all of her vinyl and she just had, um, so much vinyl and she was selling it for like a dollar um, or less than a dollar for each piece of vinyl. I'm just using painter's tape to hold this down because I have lost all the stickiness to my mat. Um, so like I said, treat your mats better than I do. Put the clear cover thing back on every single time you're done with it. I have a really bad habit of not doing that. Um, but she had... She was getting rid of all of her vinyl. I think she was, uh, she wasn't going to be doing the business anymore. So I bought like a ginormous bundle of vinyl from her. And this is one of the ones that I got. And I have no idea what brand it is. And I can't find where I bought it from um, or like what her name was. So I can't even ask her. But this has been the best vinyl that I've ever used. It's really cool. And I'm going to be really sad when I'm out of it. Okay, so now I am just, um, well back down because I'm going to do some other stuff. So I'm just getting this started. Everything's going and I'm going to get the other shadow box ready really quick while that's going. If you guys have any suggestions of um, things you would like to see me do, um, I would love to hear that as well. 
I know that there's a lot of people who are new to the Cricut, so if there's something that you are having trouble with, uh, let me know and I'll see what I can do to help you. This is a really basic project, so anybody can do this. You don't even have to have a Cricut to do it. Like I said, you can order decals. I don't know where my blade went. You can order decals, you can use stickers, you don't even have to put things on the front, you can just fill them in. Um, like I said, I have some, for some of the other states, for New York, I have our tickets to the Broadway play that we saw, for the beaches we went to, I have seashells, um, I have some plane tickets, that kind of stuff. I'm going to also probably not put like the whole plane ticket because then you won't be able to see the picture but like cut it down to like the important stuff so I'm just using a razor blade this is my husband's blade to his safety razor don't tell him I took it um so he has like five million blades he bought like this ginormous set of them so I'm just scraping all of this off you can buy shadow boxes obviously without the stuff on them but not for a dollar so also, these are small shadow boxes. Um, they're like maybe six inches by six inches, but they work perfect for the project that I'm wanting to do. So I'm just scraping all of this off. I think somebody said they used, were using the razor that they got at Dollar Tree to do this, just in case you're like, I don't have a razor on hand. comes off pretty easily. I made the shadow box I got from Dollar Tree. So you can order them in bulk online. Um, I can't remember how much it comes to a case because it varies with things. You can Basically, it's ordering like wholesale, so you have to order a lot of them if you do it online, but it's either 12 or 36 or 48, or you can go hunt for them in the stores. Um, it's been kind of hit or miss. Some Dollar Trees I found them at and other Dollar Trees I haven't, but there's different colors. So like th that one was white. Um, I just realized I opened a like kind of beigey wood looking color one, which is not the one I wanted to open because I'm doing all white, but um, they ha also have black frame flame black frames as well. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. So a lot of choices. They also have um, floating frames I saw at Dollar Tree, which was really cool. Um, so similar to this, but there's no backing on them. So the glass is in between two pieces of wood or plastic or whatever it is. And you can do something really cool with those as well. Um, simple process, the same thing as this. You just scrape off the words and put your own decal on it. You can do like a family emblem or something along those lines. So, just wiping that off. I forgot to grab an extra egg, so I keep using my shirt for stuff. For Christmas, I did a couple of things with these shadow boxes. Um, for my family, I did... Um, I, well, I did both of them as picture ones, but for my side of the family, I took this picture. We did a whole group picture for my grandfather's birthday, and so I took that picture and stuck it on the back the same way that I've done all of these other ones. And then um, I put This Is Us on the front in black vinyl. So now I'm just going to take the picture and with the that's printed on the... Um, shipping label paper and stick that onto the backing of the shadow box. Um, so it had the picture of the whole family and then um, the uh, this is us decal on the front and then for the other side, my husband's side of the family, we I had took a really cool picture of my son and my daughter at the beach kind of arm in arm sitting um, facing the ocean and so I uh, put those pictures in the shadow box what am I looking for marker and I put seashells that we collected in there I didn't put anything on the front of that because it was a really cool picture I didn't want to take anything away from it I'm just 
the mark where I'm going to cut. Okay. So this is, if you guys can get the, um, this shipping label paper from the store to print your pictures on, it's so easy to apply the picture to the back of the shadow box. I would highly suggest doing it that way if you can. It's a lot easier than Mod Podge. You don't have to wait for it to dry. It just is so easy. I'm going to cut this out. I'm cutting a little bigger than what it needs to be, um, leaving some space for error. I also printed the pictures out bigger than what it needed to be, so that way I wasn't gonna mess up and make the picture too small. Okay, so the other thing that I really like about this is that it peels off in sections, so I'm only gonna peel the main section off and leave these two sections on so I can place this easier. Make sure that the little hanging part is at the top of the picture. Don't wanna mess that up and do it upside down. Wouldn't be too hard to fix, but Let's stick this on there just like that. Flatten it out. Okay. Now I'm going to cut the corners off so I can fold all of these corners in. Okay, so like I said before, I did make my images and I did, I used a font that I purchased. Um, if you're making stuff for personal designs, um, you don't have to be as careful just because no one's probably going to come into your house and be like, oh, you used my copyrighted image. But if you're selling things, like if you just got a Cricut and you're interested in selling um, your products... You can't just go onto Google and find whatever image that you want, unfortunately. Um, you have to either design your own images or you need to purchase images that come with a commercial license. So I use a, a graphic design program called Adobe Illustrator to make my designs. And then I also do purchase some designs if I'm just not feeling it or if I find something that I really like. Um, but I am getting back to putting my designs up for commercial use. Um, I also have designs for personal use. So if you go to my website, I have a um, tab on there for digital designs. Right now it only has these states, but you can, I do have it to where you can download the state bundles um, for the home sweet home for free for personal use only. Um, so if you go to maxdoodles.com, I'll just put the link in the comments when I'm done. But if you go to maxdoodles.com, you can download um, that bundle of designs um, free for personal use. If you would like to use it for your small business, I am only charging $5 for it. Um, but like I said, you can download it for free and use it for anything that you're doing for personal use. So um, if basically just not making a profit. So you can make it for yourself, you can make it for your, make something for your family and friends using um, those designs that I'm giving to you guys for free. Um, you just can't make a profit from it. So I will link that down below at the end if you want to access those designs. And I will be putting up more and more designs um, over the next coming days. I used to have a bunch on there and then I kind of changed what I was doing and um, change my website up for the holidays to market more of my products so I'll get some more stuff loaded on there so that is the picture and now I'm going to put the decal on the front of the glass um, 
I get asked a lot of times to do certain designs. So Disney is a big one, which unfortunately, like, Disney comes after people who use their designs. And I see people selling things all the time with um, Disney characters. So even if, like, you drew the Disney character from hand, if you can tell that it's Minnie Mouse or Mickey Mouse or whatever, um, that is still considered copyright because you didn't create that character. Um, I don't know where my tool went there. So just be careful. I actually, um, also another big thing right now is like the inspired, like Ray Dunn inspired or Louis Vuitton inspired. You have to be really careful with that too. I would not ever say anything's inspired because that's just another term for counterfeit. Um, and a Ma I can't remember where this was. Actually, I'm going to do the inside first. Um, I can't remember where this was, but a mom had a whole group, made a lot of money selling inspired, like, Louis Vuitton and Champion um, and all of that. I'm going to do this really slow when I pull this off because the foil um, vinyl can be finicky. But she was selling all of this stuff. She had a whole group for it. She... Um, put in the group that they were inspired items. So everyone knew, it's not like she was trying to pass them off as the real items, um, but it doesn't matter. It's still illegal um, to do inspired by. Um, long story short, she was at her, like a fundraiser, I can't remember if it was for her school or for her church, um, selling these inspired by Louis Vuitton bags and all of this stuff um, at this fundraiser for her son or school or church. I can't remember exactly. And the, um, like everything got seized. Everything, like she was arrested in front of everybody and all of her assets got, got seized. Her um, bank accounts were frozen. Like, she is in a lot of trouble, and there is going to be major lawsuits. I haven't followed up to see um, what happened, but, like, could you imagine selling that kind of stuff and being arrested in front of, like, your kid because you're selling inspired by um, products? Now, I'm not saying you can totally be inspired by things, but don't advertise it as that. So, I just... For all of you newbies out there who want to sell things, absolutely go for it. Get your stuff out there, but just be careful what you do and how you word things. Like, if you want to use this skinny font like what I'm using, um, that's like like what the Raydun stuff uses. Great, use it, but don't advertise it as Raydun because um, you can get in a lot of trouble. There was a whole thing with um, photographers doing. Grinch photos, and Grinch is another really big one. They will come after you if you use, if you have the Grinch products. Um, so I'm going to be, I wasn't as careful this last year. I realized that I had some things, um, like the, uh, I just took a DNA test. Turns out one, I'm 100% that Grinch. Um, I had that up, and I just realized recently that I shouldn't have done that because it had a picture of the Grinch, so I was using a copyright, copyrighted thing, so I took it down as soon as I realized what I was doing. Okay, so I'm just going to get this. Um, oh, really? They'll delete posts with Inspired? I never realized that because I haven't posted anything. That's good to know. But yeah, it is considered counterfeit just because um, Inspired by, like I said, you can be Inspired by, but don't basically tell people you're copying what another person is doing. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this really quickly. I appreciate appreciate all you guys tuning in. Um, like I had originally said, this wasn't the project I was going to do uh, yesterday when my <laughs> video feed failed. I was actually wondering if anybody would even come and watch this with it being a Saturday. Um, but I'm a mom and I don't do anything on Saturday nights because my kid goes to sleep at like seven. So, um, I figured we'd catch up, but I had a whole thing with like light bulbs and aquarium sand or aquarium rocks and all this stuff that I was going to do. Um, but I got really excited about this one. So that one's going to wait until next week.
Um, okay, so I'm gonna mark this. So for stuff like this, like Missouri um, borders is super straight. Um, so I do, I don't mark everything that I do, but because this is a very straight line and I want it to be as parallel as possible when I'm putting it on there, I am gonna mark this one. Other things, if it's already like a lopsided design, um, I will just kind of eyeball it, but I do want this one to be as straight as I can make it. So I am going to mark it. Put that there. I wish I had my little ruler. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I can use this as my straight edge. Um, but yeah, the whole reason I was telling that story is just because I have a lot of people, um, asking me to do, you know, designs, Disney designs or, um, oh, Disney's the biggest one that I can think of, but <clears throat> it's just hard because, oh, that is not straight. I marked that on the wrong thing. It's hard because I know those, those items sell, like Disney is very popular, but I don't want to risk getting in trouble for it. Two and a half. I don't think my eyes are working. I'm having a really hard time with this. Last one. Um. I was selling, so this was funny, I was selling Mother of Dragon tees for Mother's Day last year. Um, and so I was doing Mother of Dragons on the front and um, like dragons on the back with each kid's names. And at the time I looked it up and Mother of Dragons, the term was not copyrighted. And so I was like, okay, we're good. Um, there's a search engine where you can see like all trademarks and copyrights if you just type stuff in. So I typed in Mother of Dragons and it wasn't copyrighted. Um, by the end of that month, just like a, um, I don't remember the name of it, but it was some like uh, clothing store actually filed for the copyright for Mother of Dragons. So it wasn't even like Game of Thrones or any of to do with that. It was a clothing store that copyrighted the term mother of dragons. So even that you can't, I couldn't, I had to take my mother of dragon shirts down because someone had copyrighted the term. So it doesn't even have to be like the original creator or whatever. Um, if they haven't laid claim to it, <laughs> your stuff is not legally protected, I guess, until you actually do the whole copyright, um, go through that whole process. So I just thought it was funny that a clothing store actually had um, copyrighted that phrase. Um, okay, so two and a half. Okay, so I'm just getting this design put on here. I have my markers put on. Um, I feel like my eyes are deceiving me. That does not look even to me, but it measures correctly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate um, any questions that you may have, anything that you would like to see. Put that over. Um, once again, I'm using my painter's tape. For all of this. I can't wait to do all of these and get it hung up on my wall. I'll definitely take a picture so you guys can see it. Okay, so I'm just lining this first piece of tape up to the very top of the design. And then I'm gonna do the same with the bottom of the design. Yes. I 
my husband just went grocery shopping and is bringing all of the groceries in. <laughs> okay, so this is the last thing I'm going to do before jumping off here tonight. Um, sorry that we couldn't get everything going last night, and I appreciate you guys joining me on Saturday. Um, hopefully next week we won't have any issues, but... Judging by how many issues I had even today when I was trying to get it, I'm sure something will arise. Technology is not my friend. Hey, I'm almost done. Can you wait and I'll help you unload them? Or un... Whatever. Put them away. Katie says hi to you. Who? Katie. Shreve. What's going on? <laughs> So Wes has been doing intermittent fasting. Um, he's done it several times, but he just recently started it again, and he swears by it, but um, he only eats a dinner, and every night he comes home from work, and he's like, just eats the entire kitchen, I swear. <laughs> he's, he's so hungry. But he's down 20 pounds in how long? Two weeks. Two weeks. 20 pounds in two weeks doing the intermittent fasting. So I guess it works. So just the same thing, I'm slowly peeling this back. And then I'm gonna cut some of the excess off. I have a really bad habit when I'm doing all of this stuff of um, just kind of throwing all the extra vinyl and tape everywhere. I really need to invest in, like, a trash can that is specifically for my vinyl. Mm -hmm. My husband agrees. <laughs> I'll just, like, every time I'm weeding a design, I'll just keep piling and piling vinyl on top of each other until eventually I'm like, okay, I should probably throw this away now because I have a tower of weeded vinyl sitting on my desk. Another reason I couldn't do this at my desk is because I'm in the middle of um, doing some glitter projects. And so I have like a whole box sitting in there to try to keep the glitter from going everywhere. Um, but I haven't revealed what that is yet because I'm still working on it, but I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, what are you making? Cereal, pizza, bacon. Cereal, pizza, and bacon. What kind of cereal? Cereal is life. I don't know what that is. You don't know what life is? No. You don't know what life is, babe. Okay. So I don't always um, cut all this off, but because I covered the entire design, because this is such a thin design, I'm kind of cutting it so I have a better idea of if I'm centering it on the glass while my husband gorges himself, himself with food. Why? And then I'm going to fold this so I can make lines and half going up and down and to the side. Okay, so folding it both ways gives me a little marker that I can just line up with the X's that I did. Oh, whoops. Getting a little overzealous. Also, I can't see. I'm going to adjust this light because this is... Oh, I already marked off. I'm almost done. 
<laughs> Katie said, no judging here, homie. Just had two bowls of Reese's Puffs. At least you're healthy about it. <laughs> I don't even know what life cereal is. I don't, I've never had that, I don't think. I used to get so mad at my mom when it, she wouldn't buy me the, like, Reese's Puff cereal and all of that. I guess it was because she loved me, but, you know. There is a tool for this that, so I didn't have to use my finger, but I left it in my craft room. So I'm improvising. But I gotta say, I don't like the way it feels against my fingers. Okay. So when I uh, flipped this, I kind of erased the entire line that I used, made out of a dry erase marker. Oh, sorry. There we go. Um, so I just stuck it on there like that. Thanks for the tip. Um, and now I'm going to peel the tape off. I'm just making sure that there's no bubbles on the reverse side. No, thank you for telling me. Like I said, it's really hard to see with all the comments if I am out of the frame or not. Okay, so now I'm going to slowly peel this off. I don't remember which piece of tape I did first. Okay, so you just hold it. Pull it back. And so, like I said, with the painter's tape, I never have any issues with um, the decal not sticking to whatever surface I'm putting it on. But with the Cricut transfer tape, I generally do. Um, I also like the painter's tape because it's not a strong cold because of what it's used for and so it doesn't leave any sticky residue on the top of your decal. Um, when I was testing out different things to use instead of transfer paper, um, I did all kinds of, all kinds of um, different trial and errors. And some of like the regular tape that you can use like packing tape and all of that um, left like a sticky residue which I didn't like but I have not had that issue with the painters tape yes it's painters tape so um, regular transfer tape you there's so many different brands and there's a Cricut brand and everything um, it comes it looks like for those of you that don't know it looks like vinyl like this um, but it's clear so you can see what you're doing. So that's the only downfall to using painter's tape is that it's um, this blue color so you can't see through it. Um, but it's a lot, also a lot cheaper than transfer tape and to me it works better. So I, will, I also really like using it for curb surfaces because you don't have to cover the entire design in um, transfer tape and it makes it lay on curved surfaces a lot easier. Um, okay, so here's what it looks like. You guys can see that. I will clean that glass later because it has my fingerprints all over it, but I don't have a clean rag. I only have the one that I use to wipe all of the excess paint off. Um, but yeah, I really like the, the painter's tape as transfer tape and in another video I'll show you guys how I use it to put it on curved surfaces. So instead of like covering the whole um, design like I did for this, I'll put a strip at the top, a strip at the bottom, maybe one in the middle depending. So that way when you set it down um, onto the curved surface, it's not 
it's not like totally defined by the transfer tape. It has some room to actually lay the way it needs to since curved surfaces are so hard and it doesn't lay the same way as it does on a flat surface. Um, so now I'm just gonna put my box together. I accidentally opened the wrong one. I meant to open a white one, so I'll have to switch these out. Oh yeah, did you get it for Christmas? Thanks, Katie. I'm excited. Um, I'm one box short. I have to still have to find one more white shadow box um, because for all the states that we've been to together, I am I need one more shadow box. So I'm on the hunt for that. Fortunately, there's like five million dollar trees near where I live, so I'll just have to go to one I don't usually go to. I was also thinking it would be a cool idea. Um, with these shadow boxes to put um, a picture of like a newborn baby in the back and then put the birth stats on the front. Um, or if you guys have seen those walls that are like, oh, um, moments in time that moments in time that life changed forever or like, what was the other one? Um, in these moments, time stood still. And then it had like all of the different dates and times and things so putting a picture of like a baby or a proposal or like a marriage on this and then on the glass putting a clock with like the time that the baby was born or the time that you got married or the date that you got married or something like that on the glass I think that would be really a really cool idea too yeah I like the birth stats I think I might have to do that for the kiddos um, you could also uh, put like the hospital bracelets and or like little memorabilia things like that from the hospital too because I have all of that stuff left and I'm like what am I going to do with this? I um, had a hard time keeping up with my baby book so that might be my alternative. Um, what am I doing? I need this and the white one. So I'm switching out for the white one. So the two pieces go at the top because you want more reinforcement where it's going to hang. Put the glass in. Um, stick that in there and then put the picture in. Yeah, it's a bit of a learning curve at first, Tammy, to kind of get everything, but I promise um, once you get the hang of it that you'll love it and you won't want to stop using it. This is a pretty easy, easy one, so when it comes to the Cricut anyway. Okay, and then there we go. Home sweet home, and that's our first home, and... Um, I don't know if you guys can see that with the foil. I know it's kind of hard to see. Oh, there we go. Um, so someone mentioned earlier that everything you guys are seeing is backwards. So I am going to mess with the settings before the next live video to get everything mirrored. Um, hopefully, so this will appear the right way to you guys. But really quick, I'll flip the camera around so you can see. So there is that one. And then there's my margarita bottle that I've been using to hold my phone up. Oh, that's a good idea, Katie. And there we go. So um, I will get all of these other ones done. I have one for Florida, South Carolina, um, and some other ones. So I'll get those done and put up on the wall. If you guys have um, any projects, like if you do this, please send me a picture. I would love to see what you guys do. And if you have any questions or um anything that you guys would like to see in future videos. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, to do with Cricut. I do all kinds of crafts and all kinds of things. So it can be anything to do with like DIYing. I um, redo furniture and um, uh, graphic design, interior design, all of that. So anything that you guys may want to see, let me know. And if you have any um, projects that you do, I'd love to see them. So I will see you guys next time and thanks for joining me. Bye.